So today, I'd like to talk to you about a very ancient English ancestor, the Venerable Bede. Bede played a key role in the development of an English national identity and national destiny. Bede used the label English to describe the Germanic peoples who inhabited Britain, Angles, Saxons and Jutes from Denmark and southern Germany. The monk Wearmouth Jarrow Abbey Church overlooked the North Sea above Whitby in North Yorkshire in the Kingdom of Northumbria, England, now the county of Tyne and Weir. The abbey became the centre of Anglo-Saxon learning producing possibly the greatest Anglo-Saxon scholar ever, Bede. He lived in a time where very early Christianity had been brought to Britain under the Romans, but Anglo-Saxon conquest had pretty much wiped it out and returned Britons to their hedonistic ways. It was re-established due to the Roman missionaries sent by St. Gregory in Rome. St. Gregory, after seeing some handsome, fair-haired slave boys for sale in Rome, asked where they were from, and he was told that they were from the Isle of Britain. He was told they were heathens, and he was upset that such a beautiful people be lost in the ways of hedonism, and asked for the name of their race. He was told they were Anglo-Saxons, and he said that they had the faces of angels, and such men shall become fellow heirs with the angels in heaven making the English a chosen people. So Gregory went off to the Bishop of Rome and had some ministers sent to Britain to convert them to Christ. Now Bede was born in Northumbria and he entered the Wearmouth Monastery around the age of seven, which is not uncommon at this time. He moved to Jarrow across the river and remained there all his life studying and singing daily in the church. A plague ravaged the monastery and it is written that only Bede and an old man survived it. The library at Jarrow was one of the best in Europe and held over 200 books, which was a lot of books at the time. Widely regarded as the father of English history, Bede was an author, scholar, linguist and translator who also composed works on astronomical timekeeping the motions of the sun, earth and moon. He saw himself as a historian of the English-speaking peoples and he shaped our understanding of English and Christian history. His most famous work is the Ecclesiastical History of the English People. Ecclesiastical is the study of religion in the church. It is one of the most important original references on Anglo-Saxon history. And this work has also played a key role in the development of an English national identity. He continued to write for the rest of his life, eventually completing over 60 books, most of which have survived. Bede was a teacher as well as a writer. He enjoyed music and was said to be an accomplished singer as well as a reciter of poetry. The Benedictines, officially the Order of St. Benedict, are a monastic religious order of the Catholic Church following the rule of St. Benedict. They are also sometimes called the Black Monks in reference to the colour of the habits that they wear. Bede also calculated the real date of Easter, the day that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and he introduced the method of dating events from the birth of Jesus, BC and AD, before Christ and Anno Domini. His calculations became the reference for the whole of the Catholic Church later in time that spread right across Europe and was particularly significant because of the symbolization with Easter coming after the equinox, when the nights begin to get shorter and the days get longer represents the victory of good over evil, lightness over dark. Bede considered himself a teacher of the Bible as well, 
and realized that he should spread the word of God across the country and sent about teaching as many monks and teachers as he could. In doing this, he helped unite the Anglo-Saxons that at the time celebrated Easter at different times depending on which kingdom you lived in and which sect of Christianity you followed. Bede realised the urgency of unity through the Catholic Church of the time and tried to bring as many people into the church as he could. He also translated the whole Bible into a Latin version that was still used up until the 1960s and Vatican II. Bede's Ecclesiastical History of England is a work in Latin by Bede on the history of the Christian churches in England and of England generally. Its main focus is on the conflict between Roman and Celtic Christianity. It is considered to be one of the most important original references on Anglo-Saxon history. It is believed to have been completed in 731 when Bede was approximately 59 years old and is divided into five books. It covers the history of England, ecclesiastical and political from the time of Julius Caesar to the date of its completion in 731. Bede died on the Feast of Ascension on May the 26th, 735, and was buried at Jarrow. Both abbey houses were sacked by Viking raiders in the 9th century, and the abbey was abandoned. After the Norman conquest of 1066, there was a brief attempt to revive it and again in the 14th century the two houses were refounded as cells of Durham Priory. In 1536 they were surrendered to the crown and dissolved under Henry VIII and the new Church of England. Since then the two abbey churches have survived as the parish churches of Monk Wearmouth and Jarrow. The two sets of conventional buildings fell into ruin and at Jarrow, substantial ruins survived next to St. Paul's Church. The accomplishments of this era became better understood in the 19th and 20th centuries. This time used to be called the Dark Ages, but scholars now reject that usage for this time period, finding it misleading and inaccurate, often mischaracterizes the Middle Ages as the time of violence and backwardness. Well, I hope you found this reasonably interesting. There's far more information you can find online. There's always the Jarrow Hall Museum that you can visit, and I'll leave some links in the description. An interesting thing to note from all this is that Christianity has been in our country longer than England has existed. <laughs>